Hello everyone and welcome back to Haynes, Alaska. It's been a long time since we came here to visit our gold mine, but uh, I wanted to get back to uh, a little bit more digging operations, putting some more money in our pocket, and uh, you know, just chasing that rich dream. We've been digging away here at the uh, the starting site. Now, summer's come and gone, both in real life and also uh, pretty much in the game. We've only got three days left until autumn. Um, we've kind of been struggling a little bit with water supply and stuff, so I had to bring in a water tank over here just to supply some of the water because the, the river keeps drying up on me. It's actually in good shape right now, so we're pumping away at that. Putting some gold through the box and see if we can max this out. We're sitting at about 75% here, so I got to, uh, uh, maybe another dump truck load we got to put through here before we can call this a, a full clean out and we can get all that stuff ready to go. Um, I'm going to turn off, uh, you know what, actually, what's our water tank here at? This is a 26,417. It's full. Sweet. Although I do need some, some fuel in it. All right, we'll just let this run while I'm, uh, while I'm heading out here with the truck. Uh, I've been digging all through the summer, trying to put some money in our pocket here. We've got about 162 ounces of gold on me right now, $91,000 in in, uh, in cash, which um, you know isn't exactly the, uh, the 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 largest amount of money we've ever had, uh, but it's not not bad, I guess. So with a little bit of work, uh, we should be able to get. Uh, whoops! Wow! Oh. All right, I gotta work on my steering, I guess. It's a little been a little while since I ran the dump truck here. Um, with a little bit of a little bit of luck, we should be able to get to the point where we can. Uh, pay off the loan that I took quite some time ago. That's kind of where most of my cash has been going right now. I, I, I took out some hefty loans to try to speed up our progress in the game a little bit in terms of securing equipment. And that worked. I mean, we got the equipment I needed pretty quickly, uh, which was nice. The, the trouble is that um, the loan rates in this game are kind of exorbitant. They, they really hit you with the interest. Um, because it's done on, it's calculated on like a daily basis instead of uh, you know something else, you know, like a monthly or a quarterly basis or something, or a, whatever annual basis it gets really expensive so you end up paying it off like constantly all through the life of the loan and and that's exceptionally expensive um, it's really hard to dig yourself out of the loan so if you happen to be playing this game or you start playing it I strongly recommend doing what you can with the equipment you have and then not uh, not using loans to purchase too much equipment because it just doesn't seem to, to pan out at least not in the early part of the game I mean maybe later on when you're working on like a richer claim or something, then it might become more worthwhile because you know now you've got more more gold going in the box, more money hitting your pocket, and you pay off the loans faster. But man, I've been digging all summer long. I think we still have uh, a few installments left on the loan. Um, so theoretically, I guess if I can if I can put enough gold through, I can get the money to pay it off in one lump sum. But it doesn't save you any interest. It just uh, you end up still paying the full uh, I don't know the full hit of the loan or whatever. And uh, it costs you the same amount. It's just a question of how long you do it for. Uh, my goal this season was to be able to to process enough gold and get enough money that we could move on to another claim. Ideally, one that we buy instead of lease, because we're paying something like 30% off the top of everything we we make on this claim, uh, which is really not ideal. But since it's basically a free claim, you know, it's you know we're working with what we got, and that's that's you know you got to do what you got to do. But um, I think this claim is something like uh, 600 or 700 thousand dollars to buy. Um, I was thinking that this season we would uh, ideally, you know, get enough money in our pocket we could move to a new claim, but I think odds are pretty good I'm going to wind up staying on this one for a while, uh, even if we end up buying it maybe so that I don't have to pay that 30% on top, and then we can put, uh, put some more gold through the box and get enough cash on hand that we can go and buy another claim outright and, uh, you know, get some richer, richer gold deposits, but, you know, not have to pay that, uh, that 30% um, loan lease rate or whatever off the top of the uh, of the claim. All right, our dump truck's full. Uh, we'll get this back. We'll dump it through and get another cleanup. As you can see, I've uh, I moved over to the far side of the claim, uh, obviously, since we drove all the way over here. Uh, I've kind of been uh, grabbing the dirt that's over here and trying to clean it right down to the bottom as much as possible and hauling this back to our plant. Um, this isn't necessarily where the, the richest gold is. I think if we check our gold map, um, I've only done a few dig spots, and these are this is where I'm digging right now. Uh, obviously, it doesn't show as being that rich because I've, I've kind of dug it down already. We're at the small amount of gold, um, but I think like all through here, we're, there's a decent um, a decent amount of gold. Uh, it's not crazy, but um, I, w I had dug out this area, and I was concerned that if I continued to dig here, I'd wind up blocking it off, so I couldn't get to the dirt that's over on this side. Um, so I decided to come over here and, and dig out the, the dirt in this area, and we're kind of stripping our way back this way through the gold uh, the gold claim. We'll see what kind of money we can make off of that. I, I think I have this dug out at the moment, so it goes like all the way up in this area and here. Uh, I haven't quite done over in this spot just yet. 
Uh, but it's made us a decent amount of gold. I mean, we're it's not uh, it's not super rich pay dirt in this claim. But it's kind of getting us to our uh, to our objective at least. I'm, I'm really hoping that today we'll have enough gold on hand, or enough cash on hand or whatever to pay out our loan, so we won't have to deal with that anymore. I really hate having to service a loan in this game. Uh, if we can do that, um, then we'll be a little bit better positioned to start earning a little bit more money for ourselves because uh, paying the loan is really taking a considerable amount of our daily earnings. Between the 30% we pay for the lease on the on the claim, and then you layer that payment on top of it, uh, we're not really getting ahead very quickly, and that's uh, that's really kind of a nuisance. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Man, the uh, game performance really suffers in this game when it rains. It's going okay, but it's uh, <laughs> we've been trending like in the pretty low frame rates. Like we're sitting like 30 frames per second there. That's pretty rough. Oh, I need this running, uh, so we can raise this. All right, so that should give us the cleanup we need. Uh, I'm gonna need some fuel for my uh, for my tank here. Uh, I thought I had a jerry can around here somewhere. Maybe it's in the pickup truck. Yeah, so we get the rest of this gold through. Um, that'll let us um, that'll let us go do a, a good cleanup. We can go into town. We'll hit the blacksmith and uh, get some of this stuff sold. We'll see how much money we have, and then uh, we can take a look at whether we can pay off our loan. Actually, while this is cleaning up, we could go into the uh, into the tent here. We can check our finances right on the bank app, which is fine. We still get a sense of whether I'm going to have enough or not. So I, I can't remember how much this stuff sells. The gold sells for. It's been so long since I played now. Oh my god, that's going to take forever. Okay, <laughs> clearly. Wow, why does this pump take so much fuel when the other pumps don't? I just emptied an entire jerry can in there and accomplished like nothing. Well, it's a, I got 20%. That's, wow, that's gross. Okay, I gotta bring the trailer around, I think, I guess. Alright, so uh, the old Glen Bank, uh, what do we got here? So, yeah, it's 600000 to buy out this particular lease. We only have 91000 right now. Uh, my loans right now... Oh, actually, my loan amount is pretty reasonable. I've only got 52000 in there. We're definitely paying that off today. Oh, amazing, yeah. But interest of 21% on these loans is disgusting. So, yeah, I probably should have just stuck with... Um, probably just stuck a little bit with some of the equipment that I already had. Yeah, we're going to get a couple hundred thousand dollars worth out of... Uh, out of the gold I'm going to clean up, so that'll be great. Um, but I, I should have stuck with maybe using the mobile wash plant. Uh, instead of trying to move ahead to the uh, the level 3. Oh, the pans are full. You're losing gold. What are we at? We hit 100% across the... No, we're not 100% across the board. Why did the hawk pans max out? 93%. Wow, weird. All right. One set of uh, hawk pan mats have already filled up, uh, but the rest of the system's still going, so I guess uh, we'll just lose a little bit of gold there. Could be worse, I guess. Okay, we're 100% across the board. Let's get this shut down. Uh, stop. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm using the same generator in order to do, uh, you know, powering our, our cleanup system. So we got to swap this over uh, into here. There's our power splitter. All right, we'll get all the mats and everything pulled out. Then we can get everything fired up and start cleaning the gold out. Um, I have the uh, I have one bucket up here right now for this. Water source is dried up, and no more water is flowing. <laughs> See, like it's a constant thing in this game. It uh, in the summertime. The water dries up, and then it will start flowing again later. Kind of a nuisance, but uh, eh, it's all right, I guess. We've, we've kind of worked our way around it by by using that um, that mobile water tank or whatever, which has really helped a lot. As long as it's raining in the game, it seems like the water keeps flowing in the river, which I guess makes sense. But when it's not raining, uh, it does tend to dry up periodically, and then you've got to work on other sources. Um, the issue with that is that, that that mobile water tank doesn't produce enough to run this entire plant. It can do everything except for one of the hog pans. <laughs> so I almost need like a second one of those tanks for those instances where it dries up. Uh, but I don't know if I want to invest in that because I mean it's only a summertime problem right now, as we're you know we're approaching the end of the season as we head into into autumn, and then when winter approaches, uh, that's when we'll really get slammed uh, with the frozen ground and snow and all that kind of stuff. So you know investing in that water now, I don't know whether it makes a ton of sense, but I guess we'll see. All right, the honk pan mats are looking nice and dirty. We're going to pull all these out. Uh, we'll get the ones that are done at the top of the sluices up here, too. Oh, i got to remember to grab these buckets. Like, every now and then I forget to grab these things. 
So get all the buckets out of here first. Cleanups in, on this particular claim have not exactly been huge. Um, I mean, we're getting gold, but it's like we're not getting like any huge paydays or anything like that. It seems to be more just about the the progressive progressive digging in this one because each each cleanup is roughly the same size from what I've seen. Even when you've unlike good gold, it's not really exceptional, uh, which I guess makes sense because this is only the starting claim. We're not on the really good stuff just yet. Wow, look at the, uh, the difference in frame rates when it's uh, when it's not raining. <laughs> it jumps all the way up to like 70-something, and depending on what you're looking at. The more field of view you're looking at, the more frames drop in this game. Kind of wish they had done a little bit more to optimize it, but um, even though they've been doing successive seasons and they have like challenges and stuff where you can be on the leaderboard for how much gold you've gathered in a season, it's just not, uh, not super optimized yet. The sheer amount of time it takes to pull all this stuff out, clean it, and then put it all back in is probably my biggest loss of money in this game. I kind of wish that this game was multiplayer, so you could have like one person doing a cleanup while someone else continues to dig. And then, you know, you'd get a whole lot more efficiency because you wouldn't have to like, you wouldn't have to be idle spending all this time resetting the machine. You could be gathering up some of that dirt and get it all ready. And then two people resetting the machine obviously would go a lot faster than just one, but uh, I don't think there's any plans for multiplayer in this game. At least not that I've seen. I, I'm pretty sure, like, even though they're still doing, like, um, small patches and stuff to it, and they've got the the challenges or whatever and the leaderboard set up, I, I don't think they're really adding anything additional to this game at this point. At least not from what I've seen. It'd be pretty cool if they had another update where they added some more stuff, but I'd also be, I'd also be really good if they could do some more optimization on it. All right, I think that's it. I got all the mats all cleaned out of this thing and in the truck. Uh, it's a short drive to our little cleanup station up here. I don't really have a gold cleaning room so much as I have a gold cleaning hill. <laughs> uh, you may have noticed in one of the prior videos that I had done in this uh, this gameplay, I, uh, I had rebuilt that water tower, but um, I had some game save issues and when I had to restart, uh, of course I lost that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to bother rebuilding it. It's pretty expensive, and uh, that really set me back trying to do that last time. Now granted, I used a loan to do it, uh, and that, that really kicked me in the pants because the interest rate was just disgusting. On top of other like loans and rental equipment that I had, uh, which wasn't great. So I don't know. It might be worth it if I if I paid for it in cash, but uh, it's like two hundred thousand or something to rebuild that thing. That's a pretty serious chunk of cash. Uh, right now we're just making do with the uh, uh, the little mobile water tank there, which is all right, I guess. Uh, get all these in here. This fancy gold nugget tater has been amazing. Saves so much effort in trying to clean out these mats because it just does it all for you, rather than having to individually dip these in buckets. Just kind of very time consuming and very painful. Psychologically, anyway. Alright, Nuggetator's full. I'm gonna have to get some water turned on here. Uh, we're also gonna need power, so let's fire this up. And we'll get us our water. I think, I, I think I've got that all connected. Yeah, it's, it's all connected. Uh, and then for power, I only wanna turn on the, uh, the power splitter in particular, so we'll just turn that on here. I guess everything we need to get this going. Do your magic, old Nuggetator. Perfect. Well, as it turns out, I got more than 100% bucket out of the mat, so hopefully that's a good sign. I mean, it's only like 2% left in there. I'm going to have to pull this out of here. I'm going to clean this bucket up first. I'm kind of curious to see how rich that bucket's going to be. Uh, I do need another one on the Nuggetator here. Slap that on. This will only take like a moment to get the last bit of dirt out of there. <laughs> Done. We got 1% of the bucket. That'll be the richest bucket you've ever seen. <laughs> All right, that's uh, obviously not going to be much for the cleanup there, but I want to see what the mats in particular give us. Uh, there's so little dirt in this bucket, it doesn't even show in the bottom. <laughs> uh, that's going to be worth a ton. Uh, let's fire this up. So this is the bucket that came out of the mats, the first bucket anyway. Dump that in. See what we get out of there. Now my experience has been usually when you get a lot of uh, a lot of magnetite in a bucket, usually there's a good amount of gold in it as well. I don't know what it's going to look like here exactly. That's 99. We could probably put the, put the rest of this in here since there's so little. 100%. Just like that, it's full. <laughs> Process that one like instantly. Okay. We'll grab this. Throw it down on our gold table, which I should probably turn on. There we go. Let's see what we get out of this first bucket. Hopefully it's a decent payout. In the meantime, uh, we can start processing these through the, uh, the magnetite separator too. First bucket had 26.25 ounces of gold, but 211 ounces of magnetite in that second bucket. 
I've been finding generally that um, in this claim, most of the cleanups are really, really similar. I, I get typically between 40 and 60 ounces of gold uh, for most of the cleanups. It's not really, we're not really hitting any astronomical numbers, but uh, they are consistent at least. All right. Well, that wasn't exactly a huge clean out. 219 ounces of gold we have on us now, though. We can go. Uh, we're going to go into town. We'll sell this off so we can pay off our loan finally. Uh, I've got everything in the back of the truck here already set to be reset on the uh, the wash plant. We just leave that. Oh, you know what? I should probably save some fuel. Let's not run this. We'll turn this off. Stop that. Stop this. This. Is, I think I'm actually going to need to refuel these things after anyway. Uh, they're not. Uh, well, that was at 40%. It's not too bad. This one's at 23. Even after running it for that full cleanup, it only cost me like 7% of the fuel. It's weird how this tiny little tank holds so much more fuel than that tiny little tank, even though it's basically the same pump on there. I guess they just set it differently so you could run it for longer periods of time without having to pay attention to it. But uh, let's get into the town. We'll hit up the blacksmith and see what he's got uh, for us uh, money-wise. Get all this cleaned up. Oh, you know what? Actually, I have, uh, I have a decent amount of magnetite in this bucket, too. Let's bring this. It's at 63%. Which is not going to score us a ton, but on the way by, we might as well dump that in and we'll get the magnetite out as well. Maybe we can get another upgrade at the blacksmith or something. Make our uh, our time there a little more valuable. All right, quick stop at the uh, the factory. Got us uh, what, 3,600 ounces of magnetite in total now. I think we had like 200 before, so that's, uh, I guess, an improvement. Um, I don't know if that's going to be enough to buy anything here in terms of upgrades. 3,600 ounces. Uh, I've already gotten like improvements on the cost options. Um, gold loss, I think, is maybe something I should probably work on. Uh, 2,645 to reduce our gold loss. I don't know how much it actually loses entirely. So maybe I'll upgrade that. We'll try to reduce our gold loss when we're doing our cleanup. That only leaves me 1,000 ounces, which is not enough to buy like anything else here. It takes quite a bit to get the upgrades now. Uh, on the plus side, once we get these all... Once we get these all purchased, then uh, any money, or sorry, any magnetite we gather, we can just sell instead, and you know that will make us a little bit of money as well. Like this thousand ounces of magnetite uh, would make us like seventy five hundred bucks. So that's that's really not that bad, um, but that's okay. Um, we're not going to sell any of this right now. I want to save that up for upgrades. Uh, let's smelt some gold. I did increase the size of the the bars that we can smelt, so we can do eighty ounce bars now. So I guess we'll power through all this. Okay, gold's all smelted. Let's see what we can sell this stuff for. Uh, sell gold bars. Actually, yeah, we're going to get a decent amount of money out of this. A little bit more than I thought I was going to get. Like 250000 That's pretty good. Uh, so we'll sell this off. Get all the money in the bank for us. Uh, it's so nice to be finally at that point where I can pay off this silly loan. Uh, 335000 Let's pay off the loan. Uh, that's going to cost me 52623 Leaving us with $282,000 in the bank. Um... Which is amazing. The next thing, uh, I think our focus is going to be just on putting money in the bank so that we can get ready for the next season. Um, I kind of wanted to move to a different property this season, but it's already getting late. You know, uh, fall is approaching or whatever. We're probably better just to, to put away whatever money we can get here at the old Arnold parcel. Uh, and then maybe move on to a different one. So, like, the buyout on this one is $1.2 million on Old Glen Bank. Um, once there was a big river, now there's only soil and rocks. The river dried and miners learned about it. New road that was created by nature gave them access to the new gold deposit. Some say there is the most gold here in the whole area. I don't know if I buy that, because they probably they probably all say there's a ton of gold in them. Uh, there's only a couple of other properties available here. Um, so we'll probably move on to Old Glen Bank for the next season. Uh, I can't tell exactly where that is in relation to the town, but I think it's like southwest of the town. I'm pretty sure the town's like over here and the claim's down here. Uh, so we'll have to get uh, $1.2 million in order to get that set up. We're only at 282000 right now. I'd prefer to buy it rather than lease it um, because the, the lease rates are exorbitant. They take like 30% off the top of everything you earn. Uh, we have basically all the equipment that I need right now aside from whoops, uh, aside from additional um, upgrades to our wash plant and stuff as we move up into the higher tiers, which allows you to capture a greater proportion of gold. But I can make do with the equipment that I have right now in the old Arnold Paul... Uh, the old Arnold Paw, uh, parcel. Man, I can't even talk now. Um, we can make do with what we have there. Uh, my only concern now is uh, as we approach winter time, we're going to start to run into an issue where the ground freezes. And so the only other piece of equipment I think we might need to buy will be uh, this bulldozer over here. That's 112000 We have the money for it right now, which is good. But it's got like a ripper at the back that will allow us to rip the ground up so we can keep digging when we otherwise might have to stop for the cold. 
Not a concern we have to worry about just yet. Um, I haven't really done that kind of frozen ground digging in this game yet. When I played this the, the first time around, um, it just wasn't really a thing. So we'll see what happens. I know they've made those updates and stuff. Um, over here, we also have options in the paint shop. I think we can customize some stuff. Um, yeah, we got custom options we can put on our on our truck or whatever. You can wave table the big excavators and things. I don't know how much these cost, but I kind of want to find out. Um, yeah, there's a Canadian flag option in here. That'd be cool. We can also change like our base color and stuff. Um, oh, we can do user defined ones. That'd be cool. Oh, look, it actually puts the racks on the back, too. I kind of like that option. It might keep more stuff in it. I don't know if you actually can you, if you have to reach over the side racks if you do that. I wonder why it does that. Is there an op? Yes. Oh, look, there's like snowflakes. Golden. We've got leopard print. Camo style. Dragon scale. That's kind of a brutal looking one. <laughs> Pink camo. And again, with the side racks. I wonder, what the, I wonder how much of a difference that makes. It's only a thousand. Let's maybe do that. Um, and then on our big excavator, I know there's like, there were some like Halloween patterns and stuff, but I don't think I've gotten those unlocked, unfortunately. Uh, we could do like patterns and stuff on all these. Like if I want to do leopard print on my, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> leopard print on our duplex jigs. That feels like a big waste of money to me. So I have the Christmas ones, but I guess I don't have the Halloween ones. Maybe that will come up this Halloween. I might be able to get my hands on them. Um, I'm going to go ahead with the Canadian flag here though on the truck, uh, for a cost of like a thousand. It only does, like, a little bit. It, like, paints the fender, basically. Oh, yeah, literally only paints one fender. Okay. Oh, it's got a beaver on there, too. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> I kind of wish it was a more thorough paint job. But maybe there's some good ones in the workshop. I'll have to take a look. Uh, I'm going to head back to the claim now. We'll get everything reset so I can uh, start digging some more gold. I know this is a bit of a shorter video today, but um, I just kind of wanted to give everyone an update to where we're at in our digging. Um, it's nice to get that loan paid off, though. We, you know, we finally uh, don't have that hanging over my head. So more of the money that I dig out of the ground now is going to go directly in my pocket. Um, not thrilled, obviously, with still having to pay the 30% lease fee, but um, at least we can gain some ground and uh, work towards getting that $1.2 million we're going to need for the next claim, uh, which we'll probably wind up purchasing at the start of the next season um, you know, once we get uh, through all the wonderful winter stuff and we can get all that sorted out. But uh, thanks, everyone, for coming to check out the video today. If you do enjoy these, then uh, certainly click that like button and click subscribe. I didn't even notice that poster there before. Uh, with the whole COVID thing going on and the kids home all the time, it's been a little bit trickier trying to record. Man, I wish we could buy this car. Uh, anyway, thanks again, everyone. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.